Habino two titles of her own. Now Habino quickly back up to start the second set on her serve. She's barely been at the races in this match thus far. She has her coach with her here in Guadalajara, Aiji Takeuchi, longtime national coach of Japan, former Davis Cup captain for eight years of Japan as well. The women's side formerly coached Kamiko Date. Might be an interesting talk between the two after this match if it keeps going the way it has been. I don't know what Abino's game plan is here. I haven't seen much of anything positive to cite in her defense. Powerful forehand from Schmidlova, but Habino, if you're in the top 100, you need to be able to cope with that sort of velocity. And it's a very meek surrender. Start the second set as well. So Schmidlova in no time at all, up a set and a break in Guadalajara. Such a contrast with the first two matches on this court here today. 27 points to 12. I think that's pretty much the only statistic you need to look at there, really. Habino has been a bit of a ping pong player herself in the sense that she has popped up and down the rankings a few times. She lost five matches in a row one stage last season. And I mentioned the injury withdrawal from the second week tournaments opposite the Australian Open in Melbourne Park, the Phillip Island Trophy. Maybe she is still a little bit bothered by whatever that injury actually was. Found the line there. She, lo she looked fine at moments in this match. Problem is they've been too few and too far between. Abino actually only one in four in her last five hard court matches. She opted to stay on the clay last fall for the most part. Good serve out wide there from Shvidlova. Mentioned Habino reached the semifinal at Strasbourg, leading into the Roland Garros fortnight. Defeated Yelena Ostapenko in the quarters there. Sloan Stevens in the first round. Before losing to Elena Rabakina. there from the Japanese. 
showing her trade craft at the Nats. Funny that she's not in the doubles draw this week. It'd be, you know, her current doubles ranking actually higher than her singles ranking at number 73 in the world. She's won a doubles tournament in Mexico, 2017 Monterey. That's long. And Habino breaks back. Mixing up her speeds there on that point. Just trying to get Schmidlova to lose some of her rhythm. And it worked well enough to get her back on level terms in the second set. So maybe Habino can start to play something near her best tennis more regularly in this match. That's yeah, well done, though, by the Slovak. Victoria Kuzmova. Kuzmova, I should say, the Slovak number one. No Slovakian players inside the top 100. Kristina Kucheva, Slovak number three, lost in the first round of qualifying here this week. She's the number 150 in the world. Ah! So right now it's a case of one step forward and two steps back for now Hibino. She's trying to push past her Countrywoman Misaki Doi to become the Japanese number two this week. Have been well, just two places in the rankings between them. But it's certainly not going to happen with shots like that. Three more break points for Anna Karolina Schmidlova. Already Four of six in converting break points in this match. Schmidlova missing twice. Third break point opportunity still on the table for her. Finds enough. Now Habino in the 125K event in Indian Wells last March lost her First round match to Shelby Rogers, 6-3, 6 love in 58 minutes. That's the target for Anna Karolina Shmilova here. It's a hustle, the Japanese off the court, the number five seed in a world of hurt right now. Did well with the volley there into the open court. Three breaks of serve to start this second set. Maybe a little bit angry with herself or at herself, Abino. Took some of that 
Anger out on that second service return. And another service break may well be in the offing. Love 30 again. Battle of the backhands, won by the Slovak. Shmidlova from Kozhitsa, Slovakia's second city on the eastern end of the country. Bratislava, the capital, virtually on the western border, barely half an hour's drive away from Vienna. Just in, I think. Yeah, I just caught the back of the line there from Habino. That was a super aggressive choice of shots. Shmidlova looking to loop the ball onto the baseline and instead whipped in as a dry volley from the Japanese. So two more breakpoint chances in this second set. These for Habino. Shmidlova goes long there. And Hippino makes it four breaks of serve in a row in this second set. Four in a row and seven of the last eight games in the match going against serve. No wonder Hippino chose to receive when winning the coin toss. The problem, of course, is that Habino has yet to hold serve herself once in this match. And dictating the majority of the points is Shmidlova. Really solid, fundamental backhand there. And again, Shmidlova taking the initiative in this game. She's very quiet and shy off the court, the Slovak. Loves to paint, loves photography. Studies biology a little bit in her spare time. Doesn't show up on the court that personality from the Slovak. She hits a mean ball. Another bad miss from Habino. Three more break points for Anna Karolina Shmidlova. Mm. 
It's almost a 45 degree angle to the baseline. It's obviously not quite that severe, but it's pretty impressive all the same. Shmilova misses, second break point saved. So this is the tenth break point between the two players in this second set already. Habino. Impressive stuff. See how much she's struggling to find her form. Only her fourth match in 2021 for the Japanese. Still the greater consistency from the Slovak that is telling in this contest. And a fourth break point chance in this game for Shmidlova. Oh, went for too much on that one. Perhaps we should treat the game points on serve the way that you'd normally treat a break point. So rare have they been here, especially for Habino. Shmilova found wanting there on the backhand and Habino does hold serve for the first time in this match. On serve in the second set, Tabino up 3-2, having lost the first set 6-1. Live to regret her profligacy. She's wasted four break points in that last game. Twice already she was up a service break in this second set. Oh. You know, just missing and she saw the jerk of the head upwards in frustration. She thought it was close, but it wasn't quite close enough. Ah! Mentioned earlier, by the way, that there might be an order of play change here on Conscious Central. I think they're hoping the tournament organizers, not neutrals necessarily, but that this match ends relatively quickly. And they might still be able to squeeze both of the two upcoming matches here on center court as scheduled. Just missed. 
Unsurprisingly, with all the break points we've seen, neither player serving particularly well. Shmilova only 54% on her first serve. Fabina only 58% of her serves in. But that one down the middle worked a charm for the Slovak, and she levels the second set up at three all with her first hold in this set. variety from both players there in that rally. Mixing up the looping ground strokes with the flat ones and Shmidlova eventually prevailing. First double fault for Habino. And can Schmidlova pounce in this game and maybe take the decisive advantage in this match? on that one nicely. It's worth noting that since tennis resumed following the pandemic break last summer, Shmidlova has won at least one match in every event she's entered. Very much on course right now to keep that streak alive. She's wasted 140 love lead on Habino's serve in this set already, Schmidlova, so she's got to keep plugging away here and not hit shots like that. Key point here, you feel. Shmilova wins it, she could speed through the rest of this match. And win it, she does. Habino trying to serve and volley. Shmilova the serve in this second set. She failed on the first two occasions, but if she can hold here, she would really have a foot and a half in round two here in Guadalajara. Shot making of Habino. 
She's still just about in this match. She just needs to do that more often. Simple, really. Well, this has been a shocking game by Shmilova's standards in this match. Two very loose points. Setting up three breakpoint chances for Habino. the line. <laughs> Good tactic. I like that from Habino. She saw that Shmilova was pinned to the back wall almost literally and snuck her way into the net. But Shmilova was canny. Two break points saved. Just didn't do enough with the second serve, Shmidlova. Habino found a sharp angle. And with it, she breaks back for the third time in this second set. Good closing speed to the net there from Habino. Took that nice and high, nice and early. back from the tape this time. That was so close to creeping over. Shmilova has done a good job of hiding her body language, her negative body language from her opponent in this match for the most part. Just a sign there that 
she's starting to get a little bit frustrated at her inability to close out this second set M there by the match. It's certainly more of a chess match than the first two contests on Conscious Central today. Drifts wide. So, Abino pegged back to Deuce. Could we see a seventh break of serve in this second set? Shmidlova's footwork just got a little bit tangled there behind the baseline. She's done a really nice job of scuttling around from side to side for the most part this evening. And just in. And, uh, War cry from the Japanese, Dabino, back in front in the second set, on serve, five games to four. Uh, may yet swing back to Anna Karolina Shmidlova, but right now she is serving to keep this second set going, 4-5. No. Didn't need to try and paint the line there. There was plenty of court to hit into. Look at where Habino hit that second serve return from. The halfway mark between the baseline and the service line. Just needs to rein that aggression in a touch. Distinct phases, Sabino coming in, Shmidlova eventually chasing her back, and then an orthodox baseline rally in which Shmidlova just buckled at the end, 15-30. Sabino, two points away maybe from this second set. Fantastic tennis from Shmidlova. 
gasps from the crowd behind their masks, most of them. At that angle in particular that the Slovak somehow found. Had she not found it, it would have been two set points for the Japanese. Instead, 30 all. That's long. <laughs> Each player testing the other here. On the first set, it didn't feel like a fair fight, but right now, this, this set, if not yet the match, is very finely poised. Taking command again. She has a reverse gear, but she really doesn't like to use it. It's always forward, ever forward. For now, Habino, if she can help it. That mistake, though, setting up another game point for Schmidlova. Not yeah, too good, though. She's winning a lot of these points from well inside the baseline. Look at where she's hitting these shots from. Obviously the final volley, but even before then, always the momentum towards the net, not away from it. For want of trying, Habino. A really enjoyable game, this one. Amongst the best we've seen on this court here today. Another game point for the Slovak. Soon, or will Habino find a way to drag us on into a decider? Oh, what's that for a dry volley? Ball had snow on it when it came down to Habino again using this moon ball and then sneak in behind it tactic. This time it pays full dividends. Turn just clipping the top of the tape and throwing Habino's timing off. That's 
a well long from Slovak this time. Hmm. Not a great time for a double fault. I think that was Habino's first double of the match. Unless our stats feed has packed it in again here. Could do with a nice deep second serve here. Lova winning that battle of wills and giving herself a break point. This is her 17th break point chance in this match. Uh, just enough. Just enough width there from Habino. So Shmidlova, six of 17 in break points tonight. She'll have an 18th chance. And if Habino could somehow come back to win this match, you have to wonder which of these break points Milova is going to regret the most. Second serve coming up here, though. That's long. She's failed the first three times. If she does it this time, she will be in the second round in Guadalajara. And that was made to look very easy, and I promise you it was not. Real whip on that backhand. Keeping it out of the reach of the Japanese. Goes long off the frame. And for all the tactical nous that the two players have shown in this second set, these first two points, much more a battle of wills. And Schmidlova carrying the day. She is within two points of the victory here. And an ace. First of the match for either player. Abino not convinced. But three match points now for Schmidlova.
Uh, she misses. And Anna Karolina Shmidlova does hold serve finally in this second set and into the top 115 in the world provisionally. Great entertainment value from now Habino.